Scary Ars 3 was the most out of nowhere drop that had other rappers like <laughs> As it is a rap EP, let's start with who was dissed in this EP. So the list goes like Kanye West was dissed, Takeshi69, I don't know how to spell this snitch, Joe, Rihanna, The Weeknd, The Feminist, Only Fan Girls, The Miss Independent Woman, Pusha T, and many others. While we are at it, let's see who were given a shout out in this album. So the list goes like Kendrick Lamar, Rosalia, Ice Spice, Taylor Swift, Diddy's son Kristen, 21 Savage, James Harden and many more. If you remember in the intro of the video I said it was Scary Hours 3 because it was meant to be Scary Hours 3 EP joining the sequels of Scary Hours 1, Scary Hours 2. However this was a last minute change of plans that gave us for all the dogs Scary Hours edition. I mean anyway Drake doesn't fail to give his fans music even if it is once or twice a year. And that's a fact. Speaking about this EP, Drake was rapping as if his rent was due in this one. It was crazy. And also big shout out to Drake for giving Conductor a medium, a platform to show his skills because this guy Conductor is incredible. He's the best in this game. The best bars were in the song Red Button. I mean, when Drake rapped on that, he seriously meant trouble. Like shots were fired on Kanye West. Also, I was wondering, he said that he will postpone his album if Taylor Swift is dropping. Does he mean he's afraid of Taylor Swift or her fans or it is just best for business? Either way, the bar ensures that Drake is afraid of Taylor Swift. The song with the best storytelling was The Shoe Fits. I mean, this song was super fire. The storytelling was hilarious. He took shots on the only fan girls, the feminist, and if that's not enough, he took shots at Rihanna, he took shots at The Weeknd in the same damn song. This song was actually what was warned in the intro. It's the harsh reality, you might want to skip this. Also, Drake is a guy who would believe in zodiac signs. <laughs> <laughs> Lastly, the best song of the EP. You must know that the song is best because the song has J. Cole, the song is lyrically insane, and also on a side note, this is bad news for Drake fans, J. Cole just outbarred Drake in his own song. And that happened not once, twice in the same damn album. Now coming to the most disappointing song of the EP. Yes, there is one. There is one. You broke my heart. The song is full of autotune and it is shit. The song is absolutely garbage. Personally, I was enjoying the whole album until I heard this song full of autotune and Drake's authentic raw voice was suddenly switched into something I really displease, I really find ugly. And that was this song. And therefore, this is how we would rate this album. Well, big shout out to Jackson, aka the voice of hip hop. On Twitter, he said Drake was rapping on slow YouTube beats. Yes, he's right. He's absolutely right about the beats. Drake's flow was old school, but not that old school. He put his own style to that old school flow and made his own. Well, that's it. I hope you like this video. If you like this video, make sure you give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Have a good time. Bye.